Hey everybody, it's Lon Seidman, and we're back at the Digital Experience in New York City. I'm here with Todd Weaver. You're the CEO of Purism, so uh, tell us about what this is, because this looks like a regular laptop, but you've done some stuff here to protect people's privacy, right? Yes, that's right. So we actually started at the hardware level, and we actually select each individual chip that fully respects your privacy. The reason is because there's actually a cryptographic bond that's starting between the hardware and the software in pretty much you know, every single other piece of hardware that comes out. And that, what that means is that runs mystery code that you don't know what it does. So we actually had to go all the way back and start at the very beginning by selecting each individual chip that runs um, in a computer. This is a crowdfunded thing, right? So you got people to support your effort and that's, that's helped grow the company? That's correct. So we actually started with a 15-inch campaign uh, and uh, we had a quarter million dollar uh, funding goal, but we exceeded that. We closed in about 450,000. And then, um, and so we just launched a 13-inch model today. Uh, so what we ended up doing is we source all the hardware and then we end up bundling that with completely free software that there was no mystery code whatsoever that runs in it, so it fully protects your privacy. We then, when we ran the previous campaign, we also asked the backers how we wanted to address the webcam microphone and, uh, and it was pretty much a unanimous decision to actually add a hardware kill switch that cuts the physical uh, circuit, so therefore it doesn't see, send any data whatsoever. It's not, so it's not, hard, it's not software, it's obviously software to, to instruct the hardware switch, but when you turn that off, it's physically disconnected. There's actually no software, it's a physical switch, that, like a light switch. So it actually severs the entire circuit, so therefore no data, no power gets to those devices. Uh, and then, um, so when you actually toggle it back on, it, then they are enabled again and you can start using them. So if you're actually showing the, uh, if you're using webcam with a microphone and you flip the switch, it goes black and the device is no longer there. Uh, and then when you flip it back, it actually gets re-enabled uh, because it's picked up by the kernel that the device has been plugged back in. It's very cool. So it cuts power out completely, and you're 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 off the grid essentially. Now, tell me about the operating systems. This is a fork of a Linux uh, distribution, right? Uh, and you've done some things to it. Yeah. So what we did is actually we looked at what what a free software foundation endorsed uh, distribution would be. So we selected Triskel, which is a fantastic um, GNU Linux based distribution. Then what we did is uh, we needed some privacy additions on top of that because that fully respects your freedoms, but we wanted to add some privacy features. So we forked that and added some privacy features. One of those which of course is including uh, Pure Browser, which is a Firefox uh, specific version targeted towards your privacy as well as freedom. We also do include Tor uh, it's a Tor button as well as Tor browser. So if you also want to add on anonymity in addition to privacy and freedom respecting, then you can do so. And is it, does it have any way of preventing me from installing uh, software that might violate my privacy without me knowing if I put on a different web browser or something? Is there some things in there to prevent it, that? Or do you think your, your customers are really of that mindset and know what they're putting on their computer? No, we actually, what we try to do is actually do everything for them by default. So as an example of that is uh, all of the software that's available to install is all freedom respecting. So when you actually want to install, and uh, well, it comes with uh, an entire Office suite, LibreOffice, right? Um, but if you want to go and install a video player, uh, you would actually go to add, remove programs, select the, you want a video player, and all the video player options that are given to you are completely freedom respecting, as well as any other piece of software that you'd want. So there is no um, uh, accidental uh, undoing of the uh, privacy respecting. So, so you're very much curating all the software available for this out there to prevent somebody from installing something that isn't privacy safe? That's right, yeah, exactly right. Now that's not, that's not specifically entirely on us, Free Software Foundation has put out what the standard is to actually have a distribution that fully respects your freedom. So as an example of that, uh, Ubuntu, right, is one that still has mystery code and, and uh, installs um, binary blobs in the kernel to drive certain hardware. So we, we, all of that is removed, right? So that's actually accomplished because of what the Free Software Foundation has really done. And then also Triskel has gone through the pains of writing those scripts to end up doing it. So we end up benefiting from that as well as all the users benefit from that. So so it's kind of a, a process to end up getting to the point where you have complete freedom and, and privacy. Because you control the hardware, you don't have a lot of those binary blobs with it, trying to make things compatible because you, have, because you control everything from the operating system out to the other thing. So uh, Intel-based? It is Intel-based, yes, that's right. What kind of processors are on these? Uh, so the 13-inch the is an i5, right, fifth generation. Um, and then also running Intel graphics. So, you know, because like as an example, NVIDIA is, uh, you'd have to use um, binary blobs to run NVIDIA. Uh, so we actually selected, again, all the hardware that runs completely free software. So that's from the bootloader, the kernel, operating system, and all software. And even all software you can even install 
uh, is completely freedom and privacy respecting. If you want to be on the grid but not off the grid, <laughs> this is probably the best. I think I might steal that from you if that's all right. Sure, feel free. <laughs> so, well, thank you very much. How much and where can people find these? Uh, you can find them from Crowd Supply. Uh, and these models are um, starting out. Uh, early bird is uh, 1400 bucks. Great. Well, thank you very much for your time. Yeah, Appreciate you. it.